वेलकम टू माई व्यूज इन न्यूज वी आर आवर्स अवे फ्रॉम स्टार्ट ऑफ टॉक्स बिटवीन ओरोमो लिबरेशन आर्मी ओला एंड इथियोपियन गवर्नमेंट वेयर विल टॉक्स बी हेल्ड इन तंजनिया हु इज मीडिएटिंग एंड हु इज रिप्रजेंटिंग द ओरोमो लिबरेशन आर्मी सम नेम्स और being circulated in the social media five names from the oromo liberation army though no official announcement from the ola so far who are the five uh, people uh, who are going to represent ola at talks in tanzania we have details for you uh, and uh, comes a dare about talk to the bbc today uh, and their questions were asked about uh, where talks will be held who will represent ola and uh, any uh, previous engagements uh, why was tanzania chosen the details for you firstly uh, pro government ethiopian activists have announced uh, that uh, they have uh, shared that five ethiopian government representatives have arrived in tanzania we'll have a look at more delegations from ethiopian government side uh, firstly ridwan is the ridwan hussain as i mentioned in the previous video uh, national security adviser who represented ethiopian government at talks with tplf2 uh, in october november uh, gideon timotheus justice minister uh, federal justice minister there part of uh, government delegation again he was part of delegation which uh, negotiated with tplf2 three other members are new members of this uh, government delegation Bonsa is there. Bonsa and Toto. Uh, he is reportedly working at NIS, National Intelligence and Security Service. So he is uh, part of Ethiopian Intelligence Agency. Fourthly, uh, Kafalo Tafara. Kafalo Tafara is a former INSA official. He worked. in ethiopian cyber security agency i think he is a brigadier general now he is serving as oromia region's peace and security in charge fifthly general demise who is he is he a general is he from ethiopian national defense force it's not clear so these are five members of ethiopian government's delegation the five names are being shared in social media from the ola side are firstly and all five are from diaspora they are not based in ethiopia firstly professor mohammad hassan he is a prominent oromo historian and scholar he has written several books very critical of uh, ethiopian uh, federal government and uh, he is from dallas us secondly taha abdi who is uh, both are romo he is romo to taha, taha abdi he is from seattle us he worked for years with olf he is a veteran olf veteran he worked as foreign affairs in charge of the romo liberation front so both are from the usa professor mohammad hassan and taha abdi seattle taha abdi from seattle both are romos thirdly varko varko is from norway he is a lawyer he has a phd as well and he represents uh, ola in uh, ola's uh, engagements uh, with uh, people abroad mostly fourthly a protestant pastor pastor ujulo 
Past Ojuru is basically a past and he is from Germany. Fifthly, Jirinia Gudata. Jirinia Gudata is from Canada reportedly. He is uh, advisor to Kumsa Dereba Jalmaro, OLA's commander, OLA's leader, Kumsa Dereba Jalmaro. So, the five names circulating in social media are from diaspora. Two from the US, one from Germany, uh, one from Canada and one from Norway. Who is mediating these talks? Uh, Komsa Dereba talked to the BBC a few hours ago. And there, BBC uh, journalists asked a question about the team of OLA, which will uh, hold talks in Tanzania on Tuesday. Uh, Dereba did not share any names, but he said that the two sides were scheduled to meet in Kenya. But Ethiopian government refused to meet in Kenya. That is why a new venue was chosen. The new venue is uh, Tanzania. Talks will be held in Zanzibar, which is an island in Tanzania. Uh, he said several rounds uh, are going to be held. So it's not that, that all sessions will be held in Tanzania. Who is mediating these talks? Uh, if you remember, almost uh, two to three weeks ago, I reported that some foreign diplomats from two countries, US and Norway, had contacted uh, Ola and Ethiopian government. They were trying to bring the two parties to the table. Reportedly, Norway uh, is part of team of mediators, Norway's diplomats, Sweden to Kenya, U.S. as well, reportedly, U.S. and E.U. too. Some are naming IGAD too. No mention of Africa Union so far. But things will be clear in coming hours. Will Africa Union be there? Will IGAD be there? And the diplomats from these countries uh, uh, have done work uh, recently. So, they are going to be there at talks in Tanzania on Tuesday. Now, uh, there are no field commanders of the Oromo Liberation Army representing OLA, it seems. Maro is not going to attend the talks. And uh, it's difficult to distinguish between OLA and OLF. All these uh, people, uh, they are representing OLF, they have been supporting OLA as well. So, they are representing both OLF and OLA. And some of them, some of them have been calling for independent Oromia country. So, let us see how talks are held, what is going to be discussed. We will try to update you in coming uh, hours. And uh, there might be support members too. If government delegation has five members, there could be other support members too. There could be support members for OLA's team as well. Some other names are also circulating in social media uh, on OLA site. But we'll have to wait uh, for a few hours. So far, the two sides uh, are showing commitment to the start of talks. Komsa Dereba's interview is uh, clear that OLA has sent its team. Ethiopian government's team has already arrived in Tanzania, confirmed by some sources. And uh, OLA's team might have arrived as well. We will try to keep you uh, updated about this uh, key development. Uh, talk going to start in uh, coming hours. Uh, can we say that uh, opposition parties of uh, Romia like OFC are also represented at these talks? Because the issues going to be discussed are not just linked to the Romo Liberation Army. 
The issues being going to be discussed are the ones which uh, are being raised by other opposition parties too. It's too early to say if Java or Maria Gardena are part of uh, uh, the part of these efforts or are they backing the OLA's team. Let's wait a little for a few hours. Uh, I contacted a few people who are close to the entire process. They shared details with me. And one of the five uh, members of uh, the OLA delegation stays in touch with me. And he keeps in touch with other people as well who report on the Romo Liberation Army. So we'll try to keep you updated viewers. I thank you for watching.